Well, here we are, folks. History in the making. Now, if I'm being honest, I was already messing with this a little bit. And ultimately, reaction wasn't what I was expecting. I thought it'd be a little bit more exciting. However, the purpose of this video is just for people that like space, stars, planets, our solar system, the Earth, the planet that we th thrive on, that we depend on for our survival, or this could be an educational video for children. Well, have you ever wondered what our solar system, specifically the Earth, would be like if it had never collided with the planet Theia 4.5 billion years ago? And Theia is a proto-Earth Mars-sized planet. And further doing my research, I found that the Earth to Mars to Moon ratio is roughly 100 to 10 to 1. And it ultimately comes down to the question of how much mass was gained and lost from the collision. But in that research, that the Earth to Mars to Moon ratio, we would have to assume and take into account, and again, this is just an estimate, that the Earth, or pre-Earth, I should say, was 10 times lighter than the current Earth we have today. And, yes, I know a lot of people are probably thinking and saying that, well, if the collision created the Moon, why is it not lighter now? Again, I'm not saying that the Earth is smaller, because it's actually not smaller or bigger. We just ended up gaining more mass from the collision. But taking to the account, here for Earth it shows the mass is... one Earth mass, and the radius here is 6,371 kilometers. And while I was looking at the mass of Earth, it is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And scientific research shows that the radius of Earth is three, is, I'm sorry, 6,378.1 kilometers. So, it's a little off on here. But, nothing's perfect. Not even our Earth. But, taking into that account, obviously it'll be hard to put the change the mass and subtract 10%, because it's 10 to the 24th, and I'm not a math whiz, but I like space. And, obviously, I can subtract back to 10%. From the radius. So, if I just use the games app algorithm here, take 6,371 get rid of 10%. Rounding up, that should roughly come out to about 5,734 kilometers. And as you can see, it automatically changed the mast for me. And now the mass shows 4,300... Oh, I'm sorry, it's 4.35. instead of 5.972 now. But it's still to the 24th power. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and lock these here. 
Oh. Well, I guess I should... Lock the mass over the radius. And I'll just play it here. And we'll see what happens... To the Earth. But, um, if I'm being honest, when I was doing this... In... Speeding up the time, a little bit. You notice that, um... Nothing... Really happens. To the Earth. The only real difference is... It's just... Lighter. So... That's where I wasn't really... Excited. I thought maybe it would have, you know... Changed... A little bit. Maybe slowly started getting closer to the earth, to the sun, I'm sorry. Or even farther away. As we know, our moon is slowly moving away from the earth each year. And if we had made the earth like we just did a little smaller by 10%, well, Maybe if I let this go long enough, it is slowly starting to move away from the sun. And it may hit Mars or just slowly go out of the solar system. But I mean, there's only a certain uh, amount I can fast forward this. Not only that, I just don't want to make people dizzy either. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing really happens. It The Earth didn't move out of its place. The trajectory is still the same. It's still orbiting around the sun. The only difference is its radius and its mass. This pre-Earth. If... It had never collided and we were still here today. Things would probably still be the same, honestly. Because, I mean, we're already in the year 2085, well, 2090 now. And it's still pretty much in the same spot. But, uh, who knows? Maybe if it got to 5,000, 10,000... Which is quite a long time from now. Maybe it would be a little bit more closer to Mars. And maybe Mars in the sky would be a little bit brighter. And maybe you could see with a naked eye. Better with without having to use a... I'd say somewhat cheap telescope to see it better. But uh, there you have it. Nothing really happened. And from what I can see, just from base, basic logic, is that with the moon being as small as it is, and it's slowly moving away from the Earth, now that we made the uh, Earth smaller, I would just assume that it would slowly start moving away from the sun. But clearly I'm not going to sit here forever and wait for it. <laughs> Because it's probably so minimal that even our great 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 grandchildren to the uh, 10 to the 24th power <laughs> of grandchildren would probably not even really notice that much of a difference. But somewhere along the lines in the very far, far future, 
I would just assume that the Earth would slowly be moving away from the uh, sun. And I don't want to keep anybody uh, getting more dizzy here. So uh, I'll just pause it, take a quick look at it. I mean, the Earth still looks the same. Still got water and all the land and looks like it hasn't really moved. I mean, as you can see, it's axis is you know a little bit wonky but i tested it when it was regular too without changing anything and it was still about the same maybe a little bit more extra movement than before because it's you know a little lighter But, um, there it is. I know, not really as exciting, but I still find it interesting. You know. Well, thanks you all for watching.